Hey, my name's Will, and here's how you can make a hand-drawn marker effect in After Effects. To get started, you're going to want your brush and paint windows to be open. If they aren't already, you can make them appear by going up here to Window and toggling them on there. Once you have them both visible, select your brush tool, then choose what brush settings you want. They can be whatever you'd like, but I'd recommend setting the spacing to 1%, otherwise it's going to get a little wonky. I'm going to go with a hard brush with a diameter of 25 and the color set to white for mine. Also, make sure that the duration is set to right on. With your settings set, make a new solid. The color doesn't really matter, just pick something you can see your chosen color on. Double click the solid to isolate it, then draw whatever you'd like. I'm just going to go with my first initial as an example. Once you finish, you'll notice it's going to disappear, but if you go back and press play, you'll see it's animated whatever you just drew, and if you hit U or open up its settings, you'll find this new little bar and two keyframes that are the beginning and end of the stroke. You can move the bar forward or backward if you want to change when it starts, and you can adjust the keyframes if you want it to go longer or faster. One thing I'll say though is the path it makes by default is a little robotic, so let's adjust that by first highlighting the keyframes and hitting F9 to easy ease them, then go into the graph editor and adjust those two points. A good all round way to adjust the keyframes is just to bring in these two points like this, but for this W specifically, I'm gonna actually push in the starting point, which makes it start really fast and finish a little slow. After you're done, go into the effects window and turn paint on transparent on. That way, when you go back to your main comp, it'll only show what you drew. And if you like the path that you drew, but you wanna change the settings, don't worry, because you can go in the stroke options and change anything you want, including the color, the size of the brush, and the softness. So yeah, that's all there is to it. You can use this to make circles or arrows to catch the viewer's eye, or do really anything that you can think of. Have fun. If you're looking to save time and produce awesome work right here in After Effects and Premiere Pro, check out our links below to get access to our Motion Duck extension, which contains thousands of editable templates that are easy to update and ready to go for any commercial, client, and personal project.